I am so screwed. Hi guys, it's me, Controller, and today I am using the Doctor Who mod for Minecraft 1.4.7, and that is amazing. I mean, I've heard a lot of rumours about a Doctor Who mod. This isn't the official one, uh, but it might as well be because it's actually really awesome. So, as you can see behind me, we have a TARDIS which is getting attacked by a slime. In my hand, I'm hoping you can see my sonic screwdriver. In my inventory, we have all the Daleks, we have a Davros, we have a Cyberman, we have the Lonely Child, we have the wire, it's just full of different things. And I'll go ahead and start you off with the TARDIS. As you can see, it's right there. It's about the right size, about double my height. Um, and as you just saw, you can get a view inside it. It's a bit glitchy, you can just walk into it, as you can see. It will slide away from you. Uh, but once you're actually inside it, unfortunately, it doesn't teleport you to a magical land. It's not any bigger on the inside. However, it is really just cool from the outside. Uh, as you can see, it doesn't, you can't really make out the text, but that's fair enough because the pixels and the little blocks aren't small enough. Uh, but wow, that TARDIS is a jolly good TARDIS. Unfortunately, it can't uh, magically disappear and uh, reappear, uh, but I guess that's to be accepted. Now, I'll go ahead and start with the Daleks before I show you anything else. Um, so, this one we have is the 60s Dalek, um, as you can see, uh, the 60s Dalek. Unfortunately, I don't really recognize it, I wasn't around in the 60s. Uh, but one thing you should notice is his head can actually rotate um, different to his body, um, and he's trying to run away from me now. And the textures are actually real, really realistic, he has the sucky thing, and he has his laser gun. Um, these little spheres, uh, they don't actually come out, but that can be expected, because Minecraft really doesn't do spheres. So that is the 1960s Dalek. Now I'll go ahead and move on to the red Dalek. Now, as you can hear, they're going exterminate like mad, which I think is really cool. It sounds exactly like a Dalek would. Um, unfortunately, it can't actually fire its gun. But again, I can't really blame anyone for that. And another thing... Unfortunately, we don't actually get the Golden Dalek, uh, like there was with Christopher Eccleston and David Tennant as the Doctors, uh, but we do get the more recent ones, which we've seen with Matt Smith. So, the red one, it kind of looks similar to the other one, uh, but it's red. Now, this one is the Yellow Dalek. Um, I haven't really seen many Yellow Daleks, uh, but I guess you could say that was the one which you get with uh, David Tennant. It's kind of the same colour, but it's not really that golden colour. Uh, but he is really cool, and I just love the way they say exterminate. So I'll let him slide off, and we can go to the movie Dalek Black. Now, I'm guessing I'm missing out on something here, because I haven't heard much about a Doctor Who movie. Um, but apparently there's one coming, and oh my g wow. He just looks awesome. Look at that gold and the black, and it goes perfectly. I hope the Daleks actually do look like this, because then they would actually be amazing. Now, all of these models aren't the final design for the Daleks. Um, they're going to be changed a little bit, and as you can see, this one's actually a little bit more detailed with the little gun. As you can see, it's kind of split up a little bit more, a uh, bit more uh, advanced than on the other ones. Now, the last one is the movie Dalek Blue, and again, as I said, I haven't really heard much about um, a blue Dalek before, or a movie, uh, but he actually looks really cool. They all look pretty similar, unfortunately. It'd be nice if there was a little bit more variation, but I guess they couldn't really change it that much. But the one thing I do love is how his um, neck can actually turn relative to his body, so it's not all just one like big square moving around, and it actually looks a lot more realistic. Okay, so I'll go ahead and show you Davros. I haven't gone with my inventory, so I'll just go ahead and grab him. And as we all know, um, actually I don't know who Davros is, but I know he was in one episode here. He was some sort of human who had something to do with the Daleks. Um, his face can't really see very well, and it seems he's actually getting attacked by the other one, so he's going to run away. Um, but he actually looks pretty cool. Um, and he's just sat in like his ill chair. And as you can all tell, I get the feeling they really don't like Davros, so they're all chasing him away. Now, if I go ahead and kill one of these, um, as you can see, it will drop some iron and some rotten flesh. But I'm not actually sure how they will attack me, so I'm just going to go ahead and change my game mode uh, to zero and see what will happen if they start attacking me, how they're going to attack. So that one just ran away from me. Um, something just, I think that was the creeper. Um, so, they don't actually seem to start a fight with you yet. This mod is currently under development. It's on 0 0.2 out 
alpha, so obviously there's a long way uh, to be done, but as of yet, this mod is actually really cool. So I will go ahead and show you the empty child. Okay, so if I go ahead and spawn in our empty child, as you can see, that's what he looked like. I hope you just heard him say, are you my mummy? I'll see if I can get him to do it again. Yeah, there we go. I hope you heard that. Um, he's just going, are you my mummy? And it's the most creepy thing ever, as we all know. And as you can see, he's just walked straight up to me with his huge weepy eyes and his gas mask on. And he's really kind of scary. Now, as you can see, he's actually shorter than me because he is meant to be a child. He looks a bit like a hobbit, but okay. Um, and you can go ahead and kill him. You don't really get anything, except you feel really bad because you just killed the empty child. But I have always thought that the empty child is probably the scariest. I mean, if you see hordes of these people, uh, it's a bit freaky, um, but whoever made this mod has done a really awesome job on making uh, the actual models. I mean, they look really good, and they look really scary. So, I'll move swiftly on to the Auton. Okay, so the Auton. Hopefully, everybody will remember that, because it was in the first episode with Rose. Um, and it's basically a shop window dummy, which has come to life, and its hand just snaps down out of the plastic, and it has kind of like a gun there, and he will just go around trying to kill you. Now, they don't actually attack yet, so most of these mobs are actually passive. Um, but I know once this mod progresses, uh, some of these mobs will start spawning um, without having to spawn them in, and they'll start attacking you. So if I go ahead and hit him, he doesn't really do much. He can't actually shoot you yet, which would be pretty cool if he shot an arrow at you or a laser. Uh, that'd be really awesome. But he's the Auton. Now, he doesn't look um, as realistic as some of the others maybe do, but I guess it's kind of hard to make a person look like a person without looking like a Steve, if that even makes sense. Okay, so I'll just kill him, and I will show you uh, the Cyberman. And that's pretty cool. Um, he doesn't actually um, have... He doesn't say anything even, uh, but he sounds as he walks like an iron golem, which I can understand because he's made out of iron. And he actually reminds me of some of the really, really early on Cybermen, like uh, 20 years ago when they kind of were tinfoil and they had these big square round heads. And he actually looks really awesome. So as you can see when I hit him, he has the same as the Iron Golem sounds. Now he's not actually that tough. I think maybe they should all be a bit tougher because they are Doctor Who mobs. Um, but they actually look just so awesome. I mean, if I saw them walking around in my world, I wouldn't think, oh crap, there's a bunch of Cybermen. I think, oh my god, they look awesome. Because, let's be honest, they do. Now, I'll just leave them there, and I'll show you the wire, which is possibly the most boring one. It's basically this little box. It's a, it's a block, and you can press it down, and it doesn't really do anything. I mean, I haven't really fiddled around with it much. I haven't actually tried putting a redstone torch next to it. I'll just go ahead and give that a go. No. See, it doesn't really do much. It gives you a nice little feel if you want some sort of creepy TV in your house, or maybe even in your TARDIS. Uh, but it looks quite cool. Uh, there's not really much else to say. So now I have to move on to the last thing, which is definitely the best, um, and it's the sonic screwdriver. So, hold on. Okay, so the sonic screwdriver. Now, what this does is it essentially fiddles around with all the redstone things in Minecraft. So, firstly, TNT. As we all know, you have to put down usually a redstone torch by it, which is boring, and everybody prefers it to when you could just hit it. And now it kind of brings that back, so all you have to do is whip out your sonic screwdriver, give it a right click, and it will light, and then as you can see, it will just blow up normally, which is amazingly awesome. And you can do that as many times as you want, it won't wear out, uh, which I guess is a little bit overpowered, but hey, um, I don't ever remember seeing the sonic screwdriver uh, really uh, kind of just break. So if we go ahead, yep, you can set off loads and loads of TNT, which is much better than it used to be, um, where you had to try and put down some stupid redstone torch. Now it also works with doors, as we all know from, I believe it was Doomsday, uh, where the sonic screwdriver works very well on doors. So if we go ahead and right click, uh, you can open and close your iron door as if it were a normal door, which I think is really awesome. And it will also work with your redstone lamp. So I can just turn it on and off by right clicking. Now it's being worked on so that this will actually um, be able to interfere with redstone circuitry. So you could like use it as maybe some sort of repeater or uh, just start a circuit from magic. I'm not entirely sure how that will work, but as I said, this mod is in process. Um, so the guy who made this will obviously do an awesome job with that. So I, I personally really like the sonic screwdriver. I mean, it doesn't really do much. Uh, but it's absolutely really cool just to play around with. 
Now, I haven't actually tried right-clicking on our TARDIS with it, um, but as you can see, unfortunately, it doesn't open the door and let us into a different world, which would be absolutely amazing. Now, this mod has tons and tons and heaps and heaps of potential. I hope that all that potential is fulfilled, because this mod could soon blow up and be absolutely huge, because, I mean, pretty much everybody who plays Minecraft has at one point in their life watched Doctor Who because it's amazing. So this is the Doctor Who mod. There's a link to download in the description. Thanks for watching guys. Control, signing out.